Most people in the automotive space are a master of none. Mm -hmm. They go through their whole life, they never master anything. And, and it's sad because they make more money than most not being a master, but if they could master it, I mean, oh my God, dude, they could, they could make more money in five years than they made in their whole life. <laughs>
God, man, dude. I, just had, I just had a nightmare. Dude, total nightmare. nightmare. They're it's walking nightmare. down. It's like the Green Mile. The customer's getting marched to the back room Ooh. to have who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> Don't do that. Get out of your hole. Get out there, meet the customer out on the showroom floor. I know every single F&I provider, training company in the world talks about meeting the customer on the showroom floor. And if they're not, they don't know what they're doing. Get out on the showroom floor, meet that customer on the showroom floor with the salesperson by their side. You want to meet them where they are. They should have to come meet you where you are. Absolutely. Does that make sense? Like, look, dude, do you know the reason why we do trial closes before we walk into the showroom floor? Because people are walking into a new door. The hardest thing is to get them from the lot to the right up, right? Because they have to walk through a set of double doors. Am I right? Yep. When they walk into those double doors, what do they do? They they completely go cold again. They put the wall up and it's like they, they, they restart. And, and so the goal is, is I've envisioned this F and I room over here, right? Yep. If you've came out and you've meted them, they're warm to going to meet you already. So they can stay in that state and they don't have to change anything. They don't have to put a wall back up. They're not meeting somebody new. You met them where they are. They're in a comfort zone, okay? Yep. If not, just be prepared to have people walk into your office, have a harder time to build rapport. And dude, it's miserable on you and the customer. There's there's pressure of both ways that's unnecessary. You know, you're so right. And I mean, instinctually at our core as a human being, when our environment changes, Andy, our we spidey our senses, it's, yeah. it's just now, it's survival mechanism. Yeah. There might not be anything to be afraid of, but the environment's changed. You're walking, and I don't even know who you are yet because I haven't met you. So all of a sudden, I think you're judging me. I think that I'm judging you. Dude, we've started over again. Yep. We started over and that's the worst thing you could do. So meet them where they are. Absolutely, this we'll is key. Them. And when you start that conversation, you know, the great handshake, the great eye contact, yeah. two ears, one mouth, listening to what they say. And you want to start out this conversation and by putting the ball in their court, Andy. You know, hey, first of all, I wanna thank you for your business. I know you worked with uh, Andy, your salesperson. He's the best in the business. You're truly blessed to work with him. We can't thank you enough for choosing our dealership. We know there's a million other places you could have bought your car, but thank you. But really, before we get started, I know Andy's probably covered a lot of information. I wanna make sure you don't have any questions or anything you need before we get going. No, I'm good. We're good, right? So I'm so glad to hear that. So we're gonna do a number of things today and all of them are gonna be at your pace. I want you to be 100% comfortable with everything in the car deal today. I want you to make sure you're 100% comfortable with the car, which I'm sure that's the case because you're here now, right? We're good? Yeah. Car is great. Also, I'm gonna be going over all the paperwork with you inside and out, you know, to the point that you're comfortable. We, we work at the speed of accuracy. I wanna make sure you're comfortable with everything you're signing and you know 100% everything you're getting and everything you're not getting before you leave here today. And the other thing I wanna do with you today, Andy, is I wanna go over any warranties that come with your vehicle. So if you need them in the future, your expectations are met. Does that sound good? Yep. All right. I love it. He says everything you're getting and not getting. To me, that, that creates curiosity in me, right? You know what I'm saying? It's almost like, like, I don't want to forfeit anything. What am I not getting? And all he did is just a little seed that he dropped. Absolutely. You got to plant that seed. That, yeah. And that's an attention grabber, right? Like writing an essay in elementary yeah, so school. Write that down. I'll go over everything that you're getting and not getting. Just to make sure that before you leave today, you have every, you, you know, you need to know, you have everything you think that you need. And then also on top of that, going over your warranties with you, just to make sure that you have the coverage you need from the driving you're going to be doing. And, and, we're, and, and we love you. So thank you. Absolutely. I'll be handling all that. We're going to take That's care it. of it, right? Because customers, what they want, right? When they're buying a car, you always hear, you know, when you look at reviews online, you look at, you know, complaints and surveys, things weren't clear. I wasn't comfortable. I felt rushed, right? So you want to come and tackle that ahead of time as the finance manager. I want to give you clarity. I want you to be comfortable. And more than anything, Andy, I want you to be certain that you chose the right place to do business today. Yeah. And, and you know, what's really cool is that people do want to go fast. People do want to go fast. And the more they trust you, the faster they'll go with you. Absolutely. You're I mean, I mean, that's it. Like, like all I'm saying, like all the pregame in, in the stuff that he's talking about and, and this stuff, like it, it all rolls in and it's so important. And it really shows you what an ugly life looks like and then what an easy, great life looks like. And when we hear about these people, you know, because I'm going to tell you, you know, when Dennis says seven figures, okay, Dennis knows everybody in the auto industry everywhere. Some of you are like seven figures. Where do they work? It's not where they work. It's who they are. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's be crystal clear before someone made seven figures. Okay. Before someone made seven figures, no one made it just like in every wealthy person's family. There was eventually a point in time. There was no wealthy person in that family. 
We are trying to create you to be the top 1% or where you're at. You don't need to be anywhere except for exactly where you are. It's what you don't acquire and what you're doing, what you're not doing now or what you are doing now that's not getting you what you want. We want to raise your standards by, by training you. And our goal is, is that we want you to review what you're currently yeah. doing and find holes in your game, in your game that you can fix so that you can become the top 1%, right? And I know we might run a little long here and there, but I'm gonna explain this to you. This is what you do for a living. You, do, you work 12 hours a day in the automotive space, five to six days a week. I mean, you told your family you were, you were leaving them to go make a living. Like, understand being the best in the world, the top 1%, that means you have to beat out, you know, 50,000 other people. Yeah. Am I right? I mean, let's just be clear about it. Okay, like you're not beating out the people in your dealership. You're beating out the rest of the world. Everybody knows what the rest of the world looks like and then we know what you look like. Okay, so we're trying to create you to be that warrior that's unstoppable, unbelievable, plays chess, 10 steps ahead of everybody. And uh, Dennis, your stuff you're going over with is priceless. You know, and what I hear when I hear you, Andy, talk, you're talking about progress, progress for the individual, right? And it's all about just because you're here now doesn't mean you're not going to be up here later, but it all starts with you committing and getting better and doing the fundamentals at a high level. This stuff right here, the meet and greet, the pregame, these are just basic foundational elements of a great F&I manager in a great process, right? So you're setting the expectation with the customer. They want to progress too. They want to get the hell out of the dealership yep. and go enjoy their, that new car. They don't want to really be there. And if you can make it fun, give them the clarity, comfort, and certainty that they just want as a human being. Certainty, that, 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 that's a big one certainty and bottom line is when i hear clarity and comfort what i hear him say is remove the pressure from the deal so that because you're the one absorbing it all you know what i'm saying hey i got this this is easy it's no big deal this is the easiest part of it and then providing massive certainty they can't ever look to you for one second and not believe you yep 100 percent. and that comes being a student in the game in all aspects of the fni office yeah and that's why like i want you to envision someone coming and investing i want let's just pretend right you had a million cash and you went to invest it with somebody. Once they started telling you your investment options, right? As you're looking at them, because you really, really love your money a lot, but your goal is to give them the money to get more, right, than what you currently have, right? And, and everybody's told you it's good. You believe that there is the right person out there somewhere that could help you. You're hoping that you found the right place, but you're guessing inside with uncertainty that, you know, how could you get someone that could help you grow your money? It's like all these uncertainties play out, but then when you do meet the right person, they're speaking the right language, they're doing the things right, they put you at ease, they pull the pressure out. Next thing you know, you're giving them a million, everything else you got, you're trusting them, you're believing them, you're calling them, they're your person for life. That's what we want with you, okay? And that's the reason why dealerships can thrive or why in 2023, someone will try to survive. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, you know, I make the equation when you go out there as a salesperson, right? You got your commitment at 500 a month. Next thing you know, you pull the credit and you're going out there seven, 800 a month. There's guys like Andy, the top one percenters that just go out there with confidence and they're like, boom, it's 800 bucks and they shut it down like that versus yeah. the, yeah. the amateur. And we that, make it 800 so attractive. Yeah, they're, they're shaking with the, the 800. No, you gotta be confident because when you're confident, people, Borrow your confidence. I hear you talk encourage, about it. Encourage, yeah. right? So clarity, comfort, certainty makes it all happen. So, you know, you got to set the expectation with the customer on the next steps that you're going to do all these things for them. Make sure all their questions are answered. So when they leave the dealership, they feel good about their decision to do business with you and the dealership. And they know they're coming back the next time they need anything for that car or any other car in their household. And then you got to let them know. I'm gonna get you out of here as quickly as possible. We're gonna go through all this paperwork quick, easy, make it simple. But just remember, I'm here to answer any questions. And if any time you don't feel great about something, let me know, because I'm here to solve it for you. Yeah, and I always like to say, I'm gonna go as fast as you wanna go, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if you wouldn't mind, it would be okay with you if I kind of went a little quicker than if you saw something you didn't understand, I'll slow down. Is that fair? Absolutely, it's fair. Notice, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm making him feel like he's got control. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna go quickly because I know you guys want to get out of here and go enjoy your new vehicle. I'm sure you're hungry. I'm sure you got a million other things going on, other stuff you want to do. So I'm gonna go quickly through this. But if there's something, if you have a question, you just ask me. Interrupt me. It doesn't matter. I want you guys to interrupt me. I'll slow down and then we'll 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 go through that. Is that fair? Yeah. Like like what you're doing is you're giving them control, but it's the old effect: sell like a lion, act like a lamb, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And basically, you're holding the spotlight and you're putting them in it. Okay, so I'm controlling the spotlight. So who's in control? I am. But who's in the spotlight? He is. 
okay? Just understand this. All this has to do with being a master at what you do. Most people in the automotive space are a master of none. Mm -hmm. They go through their whole life, they never master anything. And, and it's sad because they make more money than most not being a master, but if they could master it, I mean, oh my God, dude, they could they can make more money in five years than they made in their whole life. Yep. Okay, so guys, this right here is gonna be the meet and greet, going through everything, very simple, okay? Um, we love you, we're gonna see you in the next video. Let's keep moving. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.